When you choose to come to the Keweenaw, you're becoming part of a rich history that's evident on the cultural landscape today. The National Park Service, the National Park System, was created to protect and preserve and interpret these natural and cultural wonders that, that we have in, in our country. The Keweenaw's history is fascinating and it's rich and it's also very long. It starts with the pure native copper that lies underground in such vast quantities. It also appeared on the surface which sparked a prehistoric mining boom. The, the first metal mining in the Western Hemisphere started here in the Keweenaw thousands of years ago. You know, Houghton was uh, basically a shipping center back in the day, you know, 150 years ago. And, um, you know, with the growth of the university and that, the, um, the city took it upon itself to make the waterfront into an asset. So um, transforming it from railroad ties and, and um, you know, old steel buildings to uh, we've got a four mile pedestrian bike trail, parks all along. Most of our waterfront is public. Just about anywhere you go here in the Keweenaw, you know people. Whether you walk into a restaurant or, you know, you're up on the ski hill, or you know, you're on the bike trail, it's, it's almost inevitable that you'd go too far without running into someone you know, you know, your friends, your uh, family potentially, uh, co-workers, so it's kind of nice because in that sense you've got you know, a lot of folks that get out and enjoy the Keweenaw together and uh, you know, it's always easy to find someone that's up for you know, an adventure up here. The quality of life here is quality. People up here aren't so much into making a living than living. I love the fact that its remoteness keeps it from being overdeveloped and yet it's a vibrant community in which to live and work. With Michigan Tech, um, they're you know one of the top research universities in the country. They've got a worldwide draw for folks so we have people from all over the world come to study here and live here and teach here. Diversity always affects a culture for the positive. Um, it always makes a, an area feel more welcoming to more people. I feel that the level of access to opportunities to contribute to the community is super high. So it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, if you have the energy to get involved in something, this community is, their arms are open wide. There has been um, a, a fledgling entrepreneurial community that has grown in the area. And that is, um, it's very energizing. We have a surprisingly high-tech business scene. A lot of the companies here are founded and spun off from Michigan Tech with big, high horsepower talent and ideas and technology. For us, even though we're remote and you know quite a ways from our end customers, we, we still are surrounded by a good community and good resources to allow us to do the business that we do. We have so many wonderful customers and everybody's really friendly and they want to get to know you and they want to they come in and they'll tell you about themselves and you know I feel like we've made a lot of really good um, friends and customers um, and I don't know that you would really experience that anywhere else. What I like most about the local K-12 through schools is um, that there are there's a lot of choice where you can take your child to school. Any of the schools are wonderful. I have friends who are teachers in all of the schools and I want my children to be taught by them. <laughs> I want to go to all the schools. I find that in the entire state, you would not find as much success in a concentrated area as you would here. Almost all our schools have been named one of the best high schools according to US News and World Report. They're outperforming what they're expected to perform. Uh, academic state champions. Uh, opportunities for children and youth have really been opened up by the fact that there's universities in the area that are willing to work with younger children and get them um, prepared for higher education at an early age. So when it came time for us to put our oldest into elementary school, we had wonderful conversations with both the teachers and the principal at that school. The principal was so completely open, we had a very long email thread with him and he was very patient and very kind with all of our concerns, which just made the whole experience awesome. When I was imagining moving back to Houghton, one of the things that stood out in my mind is uh, the fact that it's so special to have a ski hill right in your, uh, really in your downtown area. That's something that you're not going to find in that many places. We go tubing at 
Mount Ripley. We um, participate in Ski Tigers, which is a youth program for cross-country skiing. We snowshoe, um, and then of course there's sledding, and there are several different sledding hills in the area. Given the four seasons, the distinct four seasons, and everything you can do with uh, each season, you know, whether it's um, hiking, whether it's, uh, you know, going for a swim, uh, skiing, there's just so much to do. Snowboarding, uh, snowshoeing, backcountry stuff, uh, snowmobiling. We have some of the best cross-country ski trails for literally 2,000 miles in any direction. And we have uh, some downhill ski hills as well that are some of the best in the Midwest. Biking is phenomenal, mountain bike trails, road riding, just hiking, running, uh, fishing, boating, climbing, uh, kayaking. It's just, it's, it's really whatever you want to make of it and there's, a, there's no limit to what you can do. You can get out in the morning and get lost for the entire day um, and finish the day during the summer or fall with a gin and tonic by the lake and, and come back and just have a, just, just look back and say, that was just a wonderful day. There's a very large and very strong artist community up here. Right across the street from this business is the Community Arts Center. There's a, there's a strong music scene um, with very talented musicians, um, stuff that you, that you wouldn't hear most places. The Rosé Center is a very nice state-of-the-art theater which brings in um, international touring companies and artists. There's the uh, Calumet Theater which uh, also brings in touring acts as well as being a very, very wonderful venue. I would say that if you're thinking about relocating here to get inside some of the community's um, hot spots, restaurants, cafes, bars, places like that, and ask a lot of questions. because. Everybody that I've ever met up here is more than willing to boast about the Keweenaw and all that it really has to offer. We don't have poisonous snakes and spiders. We don't have tornadoes. We don't have floods or hurricanes or tsunamis. The weather is not that bad. It, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot more life-threatening, but it's not. It's cold. We've got a lot of snow, um, and that makes it so that you can really get out and actually enjoy a winter. If you're the type of person that wants a life at any speed and wants to be around people or wants to have space, you can really design a life including all those aspects here. It's really the best of both worlds here and you can create a, a really, really well-balanced life based on your terms. <laughs>